In order to recreate Leonardo da Vinci's squared circle from his Vitruvian Man drawing, I collaborated with 3D artist Pixel Urge, who built a three-dimensional version of it from scratch and rigged it in Blender. I found this fascinating research publication by Vitor Mortillo on Springer Link's website, where he covers Leonardo da Vinci's dimensions of the squared circle in detail. And in this image, we can see that the radius of the circle is 110 millimeters, and the length of the square is 181.5 millimeters. And a special thank you goes to Vitor for giving me permission to use this image for the purpose of this video. In Unreal, in order for the squared circle structure to be proportionate to the metahuman, we scaled this to centimeters. And what is amazing is that the metahuman height of the male tall skeletal mesh was the same as the square's length, with the exception of the arm length measuring 184 instead of 181.5. Inside of Blender, Pixel Urge began by creating a square making its length 181.5 millimeters. He then created the circle, making its diameter 220 millimeters. And he did an incredible job in constructing it, making sure that the modifications to the geometry maintained the dimensions correctly. And it was during this process Pixel Urge came up with the idea of this structure being animated. From here, he added his artistic touches by creating additional geometry that could be animated. He then went through the process of rigging it, and this was extremely helpful as I was able to create the animations for it directly in Unreal using the default FK control rig. Before exporting it, the scaling was changed to centimeters so that it would be proportionate to the scale of the metahuman body. Pixel Urge finished off inside of Substance Painter by adding some texture details to the geometry. And later on, these textures would be fine-tuned by Thomas Sackman so that they blended with the Vitruvian statue Thomas created. Inside of Unreal, I tested the skeleton of the structure by rotating each piece of geometry. And in order to animate this, Instead of creating a control rig for the simple animation I wanted, I used the built-in default FK control rig option in Unreal, and this can be used on any skeletal mesh. To animate this, with the Vitruvian Structure Skeletal Mesh and Sequencer, all you have to do is right-click on it and select Edit with FK. Once you do this, it bakes the bones to the FK control rig, and if you have an existing animation inside of here, you can modify its curves. But in my case, I want to create a new animation, so I've created an additive layer that I'm going to use to set some keys. I'm happy with the position of the structure, but for the main circle, I'm going to rotate the pitch by 90 degrees and then create a key. For the large inner circle, I'm going to create a key for the pitch at the start of the track and then go to the end of the sequence. I'm going to modify the value of the pitch so that it rotates a few times. And I'm going to set this at 537 and create a key. I'm going to go back to the start of the sequence to repeat this process for the large outer circle. I'm going to create a key, then go to the end, and I'm going to enter the same number for the pitch as the inner circle, but make it a negative value so that it rotates in the opposite direction of the inner circle. Once I'm finished, I can see what the animation looks like in the event I want to make any changes, but I am happy with this. So the last step is to right click on the structure and sequencer and bake this to an animation sequence. By doing so, I am creating a new animation with all of my modifications. And this is how I animated the Vitruvian structure using the default FK control rig. In the next video, I'm going to walk you through how the metahuman Vitruvian man statue was created using motion capture data to create a reference pose of the metahuman body, which was then sculpted from scratch and textured by Thomas Sackman. And I will also show you how we converted this to Nanite and imported the UDIMS Thomas created for it.